See, uh, we use uh, chi-square test to find out whether significant difference exists between observation and expectation. And uh, this test can be performed by applying different methods. Now, one of the methods of computing this chi-square test is by using R into C contingency table. So, uh, through this presentation, I will explain that in what conditions this R into C contingency table could be employed. This uh, chi-square analysis is a kind of uh, non-parametric test. Uh, it is a test of goodness of fit that establishes whether an observed frequency distribution differs from a theoretical distribution. And its formula is very simple. That is observed minus expected its square divided by expected, which can be written as O minus E, that is observed minus expected. So O minus E, its square divided by E. And uh, uh, I'm going to explain directly the use of this R into C contingency table and uh, how this chi-square test is actually used in such case. Now in this table you can uh, see a data is given and by seeing this data one can have the idea that uh, in what conditions this R into C contingency table is applied. Now there is a problem that uh, there are smokers, that is those who smoke either cigarette or uh, you know some other nicotine, uh, nicotine and uh, there are non-smokers means two types of uh, persons are there in the uh, population that is those who smoke and those who do not smoke. And, uh, there are also people who suffer from lung problems that is they uh, develop some kind of lung disease and uh, there are persons who are healthy they don't have any kind of lung ailment or lung problem so one can have uh, data with respect to the number of uh, smokers present in the society and also those who have lung problems. That is, uh, this aspect could be looked into like in this table, 120 persons have been observed who have uh, developed this smoking habit and uh, they also have lung problem. Now, when we talk about smoking, it means they are regular smokers. They are not occasional smokers, rather they are known to be smokers. And then there are smokers, but they don't suffer from any uh, lung problems, so no lung disease. Their number can also be noted. Likewise, there are persons who do not smoke at all, and they mm, have some lung problems. And there are persons who do not smoke, and they also do not have any kind of lung problem. So this kind of data may be there. And uh, there may be, uh, means uh, one can wish to know whether the uh, lung problem, lung disease is dependent on smoking or not. So this kind of thinking may be there, that is whether smoking and non-smoking, um, uh, they affect uh, the lung disease or not, means such kind of, mm, uh, you know, analysis may have to be done. So, actually, uh, we, if you want to test it, we develop a hypothesis and that hypothesis we call as null hypothesis. Generally, null hypothesis that uh, um, explains that there is no effect of any treatment or there is no effect, means that causes no effect. So, a smoking habit and lung ailments are independent in occurrence. So this becomes the null hypothesis. And uh, alternate hypothesis will be that smoking habit and lung ailment are dependent. So initially we develop the hypothesis. And uh, in this particular case, 
actually the data is given here in columns and rows okay there are uh, two columns and two rows so r stands for rows and c stands for column where data gets arranged in such a manner that in the table one could uh, see the rows and columns now what we do if you have to solve this question we actually find out the totals of columns and total of rows so here 180 that becomes total of uh, the first you know row then the second row its total is 220 because when you add 45 with 175 the number will be coming 220 likewise when you take total of these two columns it will be coming 165 and 235 so grand total you can obtain means if you add these two figures 180 and 220 it comes 400 exactly the same way when you will be adding the these two figures of the third column then you get this total value 400 so there will be a question and uh, you will have to actually make a table like this and then you will make uh, you know the uh, total column and there you will put the values which you will be getting after adding these values of the rows and columns now you can solve it uh, we actually in case of chi-square analysis want to uh, know the expected values because these values are observed values so we have to get the expected values and for getting expected values what we do we actually multiply the value the total value of uh, you know rows and column huh. Th these values are multiplied and uh, the product will be divided by the grand total this one is grand total 400 is grand total now if you have to get the uh, expected value for this first you know uh, rectangle where the value for smokers and lung disease is given then in this case you will be multiplying 180 with 165 and the product will be divided by 400 so whatever value will come that will become the expected value for this first rectangle then the second one that is for this non-smokers and lung disease what you will do you will multiply 180 with 235 and the product will be divided by 400 so expected value for this will be obtained and when you will apply uh, this method then in this table you can see the expected values obtained by multiplying the values of specific you know rows and columns and dividing by grand total these expected values have been obtained uh, like uh, for the smokers and lung disease this one is expected value so the values which are given in the parenthesis are actually the expected values so once again let me tell that if this 220 will be multiplied with 235 and the product will be divided by 400 then you will get expected value for the non-smokers and no lung disease cases and that will be coming 129.25 so once you have expected values you will be applying chi-square because this is the first step that is to find out chi-square value and this chi-square value is actually I told in the beginning it is sum of uh, observed minus expected it's a square divided by expected so uh, you will have to get the chi-square value for this first case that will be 120 minus 74.25 and whatever you will get that value will be squared and it will be divided by 74.25 so you will get the value 28.19 this value chi-square value you will obtain the next one that is 60 minus 105.75 that value uh, will be squared and then it will be divided by 105.75 you will get the chi-square value for the second case so by doing this the uh, four different values of chi-square will be obtained and now when you will add all these individual values 
the final value for chi square will be 88.23 so you have obtained the chi square value then the next step will be to find out degree of freedom and for this kind of situation that is r into c contingency table the degree of freedom is obtained by doing r minus 1 into c minus 1 where r stands for rows so number of rows minus 1 into number of columns minus 1 in the present case there are two rows and two columns so 2 minus 1 that is 1 into 2 minus 1 that is 1 and this value will be 1 so this value degree of freedom comes 1 and at 1 degree of freedom you have to see the table value so uh, the table value when you will see the table value at 1 degree of freedom it will come 3.84 in the next slide I will show you that this value will be coming 3.84 now when you have table value and the calculated value this one is calculated value 88.23 table value is 3.84 and when you will find that the calculated value is more than the table value then you will reject the null hypothesis and when the run null hypothesis gets rejected then the probability becomes less than 5% so in the present case since this calculated chi square value is very high this probability will be less than 0.05 rather it will be a significant difference it means significant difference exists between observation and the expected values so null hypothesis in the present case remains rejected and alternate hypothesis is accepted thus there the smoking habit and lung ailments are dependent it means there is dependency between smoking habit and the lung ailments or lung disease see in this uh, table you can see the values for chi square probability values that is at one degree of freedom we have to see the value at 5% level and at 5% level this value is 3.84 so if you find that this table value is less than calculated value then you will reset the hypothesis and if the calculated value is uh, less than this table value then you will accept the null hypothesis so this thing you have to remember now I have uh, used actually or you can use the uh, uh, social science statistics uh, program which is given in uh, the uh, in the internet facility you simply type social science statistics and uh, you will find uh, a number of statistical parameters appearing over there and if you have to do chi-square test by using r into c contingency table then uh, uh, you will click that one that is specific program and uh, this table will be opened for you so you decide that exactly how many columns you need how many you know rows you need and the values are specific characteristics of uh, those you know columns and uh, rows will have to be written there and this calculation is quite simple see uh, this particular table gets opened when I go to that program and then in the next slide what I am doing I have taken a parameter that is blood groups I have considered means there are four different kinds of people in the population uh, that is of blood group A, B, AB and O and uh, then I have seen whether the blood group and certain problems like salivary gland cancer then peptic ulcer then intestinal ulcer means these three uh, ailments these three you know diseases are uh, related with uh, blood group types or not so this is the actually aim to uh, uh, analyze the data that is you have uh, data regarding the person's blood group and those who suffer from the salivary gland cancer or peptic ulcer and then intestinal ulcer and you wish to know whether uh, there is dependency uh, in the blood group types and the type of element or these events are independent in occurrence so in this table you can see these are four different blood group types and the number of cases having these three problems like there are 88 people 
who are of blood group A and they have uh, salivary gland cancer. Then there are 12 persons whose blood group is A and they suffer from peptic ulcer. There are 18 persons who have blood group A and they suffer from intestinal you know, ulcer. So this way you have data and uh, uh, automatically the total of the uh, rows and columns will be available. Once you feed the data and click next, you will get all such things appearing. And uh, the grand total that is also given here, as I just told you, that multiplying the uh, values of uh, these rows, total values of rows and columns, you can get the expected value. Based on this, uh, the computer itself performs every calculation. And in this table, you can see the expected value gets noted. Uh, in front of the observed values. Now there is another you know value given over here that is I think the percentage of cases but that you should not take care only the expected values you should know that they are given here in the parenthesis and uh, next to the um, observed values. So when you will click next then uh, this table will appear and in this table you have expected values and finally uh, here is uh, the result that is the chi-square statistics that is the chi-square value is 76.7828 and uh, the table value will definitely be uh, you know less than this because uh, here you can see the um, degree of freedom since four you know columns are there so four minus one that is three and three you know rows are there so three minus one that is two so at six degree of freedom you will see the value in the table and that value will be quite less than this 76 i think that value will be coming close to uh, 12 point something so since the table value uh, is quite less than this calculated value you will actually reject the hypothesis null hypothesis that is uh, there is you know independent occurrence rather you will say that uh, the result is uh, highly significant you will say that there is dependency uh, between the type of blood group and uh, the specific kind of disease occurring in these individuals.